Be sure to subscribe, keep pounding, underscore TV, the best Panther YouTuber ever. I'm rocking with the big cat. Pause up. Keep pounding. What's going on? Christian Miller here, linebacker of the Carolina Panthers. Just want to give a huge shout out to Keep Pounding TV. Keep doing what y'all are doing. Appreciate all y'all's support. Everybody go subscribe right now to the YouTube channel. Keep pounding TV. I'm rolling with the big cat. Hey, 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 everybody. I'm your host, like Renee Gato, also known as the big cat. I'm a cool cat. Pause up. If you're rocking with the big cat, today we're going to talk about the Carolina Panthers. Rookie minicamp jersey numbers. Mmm, there could be a tiny weensy piece of a problem. We'll talk about it before we get started. Do you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers? Yes? No? Maybe? Do you love the Carolina Panthers? Do you, do you love them enough to take your whole room and just blue and black it out? <laughs> Pimp shit. You like that? Welcome to the layer. I got, got Panthers in the corner back there. Do you love the Carolina Panthers like I love the Carolina Panthers? Put your motherfucking paws up. Carolina Panthers, rookie mini numbers. Problem? Eh, we don't know. Let's get into it. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss the video. Ding! Listen, y'all, you're here for a reason. You like the man cave? You like me. You like the content? You like the host? Whatever you're here for, please, please take your finger hit that red button, hit the subscribe button, go to the notification bell and turn it to always so you don't miss a video. Shout out to all the sponsors, the links are in the description. Be sure to head over to Patreon, Keep Pounding TV on Patreon. That's right, Keep Pounding TV on Patreon. We got exclusive content, early access to videos such as this one right here. Um, we got prizes, giveaways, um, members posts, all kind of morning, early morning live streams, the whole nine. Be sure to check out Keep on the TV Patreon. Now, with that being said, y'all, we got to talk about this uh, Carolina Panthers jersey issue. Or is it an issue? I don't know. If you look up on your screen right here, you'll see many camp has kicked off or getting ready to kick off. And um, the rookies have uh, selected their numbers. So I got to ask you guys here, uh, is this a big problem? Because a couple of these numbers have what I like to perceive or my perception i don't know if everybody feels the way that are legends um i'm not gonna go over the names i don't feel like calling names Just look on the screen um my thoughts on this y'all is i get it you know what i mean i, I get that rookies want to come in and then make an impact and they may even pay homage a lot of people nowadays they want to pay homage to a player by wearing their number or you know what I mean? Or they may get the player's blessing. You know what I mean? But to me, I'm old school. I feel like you have to earn the right. You may be talented coming out of college. You may be talented, superstar, whatever, first round or second round. I don't know, whatever the deal is. But to me, you have to earn the right. In Carolina Panthers history, certain numbers are off limit to me. Again, this is my perception. 69, Jordan Gross. Number one, Cam Newton. 58, Thomas Davis, the mayor, for God's sakes. 59, Luke. 88, Greg Olson. Again, uh, 89, Steve Smith. 87, Musin Muhammad. 28, Jonathan Stewart. 34, D'Angelo Williams. And last but not least, the greatest Carolina Panther of all time. The only player in NFL history with 100 sacks and 10 touchdowns. God damn. A defensive player. Julius Hot Peppers. No one should ever even sniff that. Now, I don't want to make this an organizational thing because uh, I know we're not the only organization that do this. You know, there's some other organizations that, uh, you know, legends, you know, still, you know, get their numbers recycled, whatever. But uh, I think it would be nice. You know, like I, I got to respect the younger generation. You know what I mean? They're coming up, they're making their name. You know what I mean? And again, this this is not a disrespectful thing by them. I think it could be a homage thing. Or they could just honestly like the number. But for me, I feel like, you know, there has to be a, a, a token of we, we thank you for what you've done. You know, all those numbers I just read off. Cam built this shit. Luke built this. Greg built this. Pep built this. Steve built this. When you look at the organization, not only from a, 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 a marketability standpoint, you got to look at it from a, a fan base standpoint and, and the, the pillars of that uh, fan base are these guys. You know, I would be remiss to say they weren't. And um, you wonder why we don't have uh, primetime games. I was on Twitter earlier today and um, 
I made a comment. I was like, man, we're going to let people wear, you know, Legends numbers. And we had a fan. I'm not going to mention her name. You can go check it out on Twitter. We had a fan say, are you really going to cry with Greg Olson? <laughs> we actually had a Carolina Panther fan say, you're going to cry with Greg Olson. You know what I mean? This is the shit I'm talking about. We're going to continue to play Texans with no quarterback on primetime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the kind of shit you get. So, I mean, I don't, I don't want to cause no ruffles or anything here, man. Um, and I don't think it's the rookie's fault. You know what I mean? But to me, the organization has to say, you know what? We're forever indebted into, you know, what you have done for the culture, what you have done for the fan base, what you have done for the marketability. I can tell you now, right now, a lot of people, you know, just by off my own account, say they're Panther fan because of Steve Smith. Well, I heard people say I'm Panthers fan because of Cam Newton. I mean, when, when you get that kind of power, that kind of draw to it, you know what I mean? That number should never, ever be worn again. Um, so that's, that's my take on it. I don't think it's no disrespect here. Hopefully, we'll do something um, in, in the future. You know what I mean? Because think about it, man. If you come out, and I'm not saying that they will, but if you come out and you, you don't play well, now, your last memory of number 88 or your last memory of 28 or your last memory of number one, whatever your number is, and that guy, if he takes that number, he doesn't play well. Now, you're looking like, damn, the last person to wear number one was garbage. You see what I'm saying? It's now, now it just kind of sullies it for me. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Kind of like Todd Gurley down there in Atlanta when he was wearing um, uh, Deion Sanders number. <laughs> when I did look like shit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Am I reaching here, man? I just, I, I can't get with it, man. You know what I mean? Even if it is practice, I, I don't think it's practice. I think these are their, their real numbers, but uh, I can't get with it, y'all. You know what I mean? Hang them boys' jersey up. There's a lot of numbers they can choose from. You know what I mean? Get in the comment section. I'm your host, like Grandin' Guy Talks. Known the Big Cat. Who's the ball up? Rock with the Big Cat. Who do you think about this? Problem, no problem. And what numbers did I miss that you think should be retired as well? Let's get up out here. Make sure you head over to Patreon. Keep on the TV. Make sure you subscribe, man. Love you, cats, man. I'm going uh, going over here to a hotel here uh, later this morning or later this evening, man. It's my anniversary, man. Six years in the game. Happy anniversary, baby girl. Daddy loves you. All right, let's get up out of here, y'all. Let the church say. Let the church say, pause up. Carolina on top forever. I'd like to take the time to thank the Keep Pounding underscore TV Patreon membership sponsors below. It is because of your contribution we are able to create quality content. Please consider joining the channel. The link will be in the description. Don't miss out on your chance for watching morning live streams, film study, and much more. Ryan Wright, the introduction, new EP available on all major streaming platforms, including the hot new feature, In My Bag. Quit renting energy and dealing with increasing rates. Get paid to go solar through federal and local tax credits. Own your energy. Add home equity. Fixed rates that will never go up. No money down. A vote of power. Now serving all of North and South Carolina. Tell them you've seen this ad on Key Pounder TV. They'll give you one year free. No payments. Be sure to contact the affiliate rep Kevin Browns at kbrown at avolta.us. His contact will be in the description. SeatGeek. For all your ticketed events, from sporting to concert guidings, SeatGeek has you covered. They even conveniently color-coded each ticket on their website from amazing to worse, so you can easily know which are the best deals. SeatGeek, the smart way to buy. Save $20 off your next ticket purchase with the promo code. Ladies, be sure to check out Tory Bell Cosmetics. Shop with the ambassador and affiliate Sabrina Francis. Her link is below. For all your cosmetical needs, from eyeliners to lip gloss to eyelash bling, they got everything you need. Check the link in the description below. Fellas, do you have a beard like Big Cat? You tired of your shit looking like Anthony Hamilton? Okay. Patches all in it. Check out Trishana's Blue Sapphire Oils. Help moisturize and restore health back to your beard. Trishana Jones Oils, Blue Sapphire. The link is in the description below. Be sure to check out On The Life Show Radio. Check out the latest Christian hip-hop slash R&B. Be sure to also subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hi, I'm the Big Cat. Pause up!
You're watching Fan to Fan Network, the voice that fans deserve.